All right, well, you know, back to school is in session, and think about it. Do you start to get the after school hungries? Oh, yeah. Maybe around three to five. Ooh, I know the yeah. second Griffin gets home from school, it's, I'm hungry. We're making constant meals. Brady mm -hmm. Godfrey is here to kind of show us how to make maybe a little bit healthier meals, better better choices. Yes, yeah, so, and, and we're going to talk a little bit about this today and why it's so important to be balanced with their afternoon snacks. Mm -hmm. But mainly having a variety for them is nice. Not a ton of stuff, but some variety of fruits and vegetables for them to choose from because they always want a whole food with their snack, right? Right. We talk a ton about <laughs> protein. So any kind of protein, like you could do, like for a snack you can do, mine like to do yogurt parfaits, uh -huh. which is great. Yogurt parfaits, watch the yogurt, watch the sugar in yogurt. Right. But they're a really great source of um, protein. Yes. So it's great. So you can put strawberries in it and mix and it, it up. Looks pretty. And it looks pretty. Look, it's something so you're different. you're planning on taking them home and feeding them. Now, what yeah. if you stop at a gas station and they so, all go into gas stations? Yeah, and like out the with QT, the uh -huh. QT that everybody, like uh -huh. my family, like loves desperately. Yeah. So that's the thing. If you're if you're like going from one thing to another, which all of us usually are, and you can't get there, there are some healthier choices. So for mine, I'm always like grab some beef jerky. I know you're gonna that might balance some things yeah. out. Right. Um, there's some granola bars, protein bars, things, uh -huh. different things like that. And then you know, y'all, if you're in a bind and they're getting chips or something like that. Don't panic. Just make sure dinner is a little bit more. So right. we used your thing because you know we, we, muffins. We have stupid muffins at muffins our house, and it drives me crazy because I know it's nothing. But William loves them, and yeah, so yeah. last <laughs> night after dinner he was like. I want a muffin and I'm like so here's the deal have your muffin but you have to have at least two pieces of turkey Perfect. to go with it yep. with protein he's like okay I was like oh Freddie would be so proud See, and they, if, but it, it made a difference it does make a difference and if you start what I've learned doing this over the years so I, when I first started was younger I was like no we got to do da, 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 da. and then you have your own children and you learn some flexibility and the more I get into this, the simpler and simpler I make this for people. <laughs> and people are like, oh, okay, but it truly does work because if you if you are so narrow with the kids and they don't yeah. have a choice, then they're gonna just buck you and go full out muffins. And then it's tantra and the, yes. Well, yeah. and we talked about it last time. If you're having the protein with the muffins, it's actually balancing the blood sugar. So it's not gonna be this mm -hmm. huge spike. spike. That mm -hmm. insulin's not it, going it up as much. You have to have children to understand uh, compromise yeah. and flexibility. I say to yeah. everybody, you children make you, you so much. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I think about in my 20s <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was asking these people to do all this. But you learn as you grow and with the kids, it's kind of every every child's different, so you what, kind of have to play around with it. What do yes. your kids like that's good for them? As far uh, as God, they like and everything. They're, about yours. they're really great, but most kids are like, for instance, cheese stick and fruit is a great afternoon snack. Yeah. Cheese stick, most kids love cheese, so you can kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, I mean, mine will still. I'm going to post something that I went to the grocery store on. I mean, I've got tons of whole foods, probably like 85, 90 percent is whole foods, and then you've got. I like to call them factory foods or processed foods, like Cheez-Its and stuff like that or the other side. But you can still have those things, and it's a good tool for the kids. You just, they just have to balance them out, sure. which I'm not a huge fan of the word balance, but that's kind of the only word I for have here, to describe like, that. Like, like you say, make it easy. Just think protein yep. should be the biggest thing on Especially the after school, y'all. Yeah. They come home, they're probably not getting as much, or at least mine are not getting as much during the day as they probably need. That's why we try to do more at breakfast. Mm -hmm. Their lunches, mine usually eat school lunch and they're usually smaller. You know, they're just mm -hmm. not getting as much. And so they've had a whole day, so having that protein to balance that blood sugar is great. But, you know, that doesn't mean they can't grab some pretzels or goldfish or something like that mm -hmm. that they just want a little crunch or something fun. Right. So it gives the kids some flexibility. I like using the snack time as a time for them to make some choices too. And then always having the fruit and stuff available. My big thing, hey, if they don't, if they're just adamant and they don't want to do protein, then just have whole foods. Mm -hmm. Having that whole food and having that option, the fiber is really key, especially if you've got kids going through puberty, fiber's huge. Um, it just helps keep everything more balanced. Um, and getting that in them helps. So just getting the whole foods, those options, will be super beneficial for them in the afternoon. Can you be my mommy? Sure, yeah. sure. come on. I, me you're gonna have me. to. Eat I, I some don't. Greens. I don't know if you want to come over to. I don't know. <laughs> it's not too late. Crazy. It's not too late. Because it's ingredients. Listen, for more information, go to BradyGodfrey.com. <laughs> Follow her on social media. She has all the tips that you need. Thanks, girl. That's good. Good stuff. Thanks, Brady. You're welcome. Thanks, yes. guys.